I have another couple of things. Is Would the settlement be doable without that site? Yes, there are alternate locations just in case that site, for any reason, FDOT related or any other come up. So you can take that site out of the agreement? No. Can, can I clarify a second, Francis, if I may? We're, yeah, if, I, if I may, Mr. Chairman, just one comment, just for clarification, particularly for Commissioner Carollo. Um, it, it, the contingency is this particular site. What's important, Commissioner, is that if you don't approve our settlement, one of the other three companies will have this site or the abutting site because under those settlement agreements, they don't need your approval. They don't need the city commission's approval for the sites. So a structure will go there, whether it's pursuant to our settlement agreement or CBS or Carter or Clear Channel, in which case they don't come to you. This particular site has been approved twice by the city. They signed the FDOT form twice. So I think that's a, a very compelling point for you to understand. Excuse me, Chair. Thank Excuse yeah. me, Chair. We do need an identification for the record, please. Yeah. I'm sorry, Santiago and Chipendi. I'm one of the principals in South Florida Equitable. Go ahead. That statement, uh, that that attorney. The all of the settlement agreement relocations, unless there were specific sites allocated can choose to relocate and or reconstruct with only an approval by the department. The sites do not come back to the commission after the settlement agreements. The only difference, the principles are correct, the only difference is in this one you'd be approving it with a nicer version of the monopole, but the FDOT form will more than likely end up in my office for either this company, CBS, Carter, or Clear Channel. It's a very desirable site. For your department's approval? Yes. And, and short of having any reason not to approve it, based on the rules set in the settlement agreements, I have to sign off on it. See, this is all brand new information that is being brought up that I, I, need, to, uh, I need to be briefed on, and I need the information, I need the documents to actually see that. Because I have clearly have indicated my opposition to you know, any signs at that site at the present time. And therefore, uh, I need to see that documentation and so forth. Commissioner, um, Vice Chair, that site located, that's called 79, is an existing site that has already been, that, that, is, that somebody has, in, some company has an interest in that sign. It, it already exists. In the future, that company, that, whoever has an interest in that site could use it as a takedown in order to maybe to relocate someplace else or, or but potentially, but somebody already has a vested right to that site. See, and, and, and who has to have vested right? Because if that's the case, then just a few minutes ago when we voted on takedowns and put up, we could have used that as a takedown. The and, 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 and I was never informed of that. The reality is that there have been FDOT forms signed off prior to my working on this by the city for other companies to erect a billboard at that location. This location has already been approved by the city as a billboard location. This is not a new approval, so to speak. Just to clarify, Commissioner, there was one signed off on for Outlook Media, which is our other company for this site, and one also for Carter at this same exact site pursuant to the settlement agreements. Again, I, I, need, to, I need to meet with my city attorney, and I need to meet with staff in, uh, in order to uh, iron this thing out. And, and I, wish, I wish this would have come up earlier uh, but again, I, uh, I mean, I, I need to make sure there's clarity uh, from my part exactly what we have and don't have. Commissioner, could I implore you maybe to consider it later this afternoon? The reason being the judge in the order, Ungaro has basically said that she has an order ready to sign March 4th. Uh, so the judge is going to rule one way or another. I would implore you respectfully that if you guys are going to be here for a while, maybe defer it for later in the afternoon for some further discussion, uh, simply because I don't believe we have time. Your next commission meeting is March 10th, so the judge has indicated she's going to rule. I think the city attorney has shared that order with you. I have a copy right. if you'd like to we see it. We do have that information. Thank you. Uh, 
I think at, at the present time, you know, we have no alternative but to table it. And I, I need to see uh, the documentation exactly what, what our position is. I, uh, I was not aware of the fact, as a matter of fact, in all the maps that I had seen, I had never seen that that site was one that was approved already and so forth. So I, uh, I have to go back to the office to get the old forms that were approved. I, Excuse me. Hold it. And, and again, it goes back to, you know, us having all the information so we can make an educated uh, vote. But uh, with that said, I, I guess we'll have to table it. 